Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, we are unboxing the June 2021 Glossy Box. Yeah, so let's dive in and open her up. Okay, so for June, this month's theme is Dreaming of Paradise. And before we dive into the products, we'll look at the sneak peek for July. So it says, July sneak peek is a, oh no, I don't know how you pronounce it, kinders, kind bronzer, worth £14, kinder, kinder, but it wouldn't be kinder because that's chocolate, I'm going to say kinder, no, kinders, kind bronze, yeah. It says, this gorgeous bronzing powder is exactly what you've been searching for to create the perfect sun-kissed glow. So I think looking at it, it's a little powder pressed bronzer. I do like a bronzer, so excited for July. But we're not in July, we're in June, so let's open her up. Okay, so product number one is this. The packaging is so cute. It's Wee Cherry Lip Oil. And I believe, yeah, this is full size and worth £13. Let's have a look. So I like the smell of cherry, but I'm not a fan of the taste. But that's what it looks like. It's got cherries on the lid. It kind of looks a bit bluey purple, but I think that's just the packaging. Oh, it does smell of cherries. Oh, that's quite nice. Let's just see if it has a colour. I doubt it because it's just a lip oil. No. Oh, actually, maybe slightly, slightly pinky purple. Ever so slightly. I think you can see that. It smells really nice. Okay, so that's product number one. The Wee Cherry Hydrating Lip Oil and the packaging is just so cute. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, so product number two is by Nip and Fab. And it's the vitamin C scrub fix. This one is also full size. And this one is worth £12.95. So on the bottle it says, exfoliating vitamin C scrub to polish and illuminate the skin's surface. I'm not a fan personally of face scrubs. I just think they're too harsh because I do have quite dry and sensitive skin. But you don't want to be using a face scrub more than once or twice a week because they are quite harsh with all the little like beads but i'm not a fan because i have already got a nip and fab face scrub this is the glycolic face scrub and i don't really use it so i probably won't use this to be honest i might just give it to orlando and see if he likes it but i think the vitamin c one is supposed to be more illuminating whereas this one is supposed to be a bit harsher and exfoliating well that's going off what the packaging says but I just don't like the texture of them on my face so I probably won't really use that one but I appreciate the fact it is full size and vitamin C is good for the skin but I'd rather find vitamin C in a different product rather than a face scrub personally so product number three is by Mitchell and Peach and it's the English Leaf Body Oil to get 50 mils of product in this one and this is worth 23 pounds so it says it contains almond oil and vitamin e it's going to nourish the skin make it feel soft and scented of fresh cut meadow grass which is a blend of soft citruses coriander leaf basil mint and floral oil interesting scent let's let's actually give it a, a smell It kind of reminds me of, like, similar to, like, fresh cut grass, if that makes sense. But with a citrusy, like, hint. Mm. Smells okay. I think it's more of a old lady smell, personally. Mm. So I think I'd probably use this because I get quite dry elbows and knees 
because a body oil gives you that extra hydration more than like a body cream or body butter it goes in deeper so it is good for any really dry areas and it also says on here that they'd mix it in with a perfume and then rub it in so it lasts longer i don't know if i do that personally but i'd probably just use it for drier areas on my skin yeah I don't, mm. it's okay the fact that it's worth 23 pounds i would have rather a different product be more expensive that i'd use more than a body oil if it was maybe shimmery i prefer that and put that like along my collarbones when like i'm in a dress or something but it's not so it's it's okay it's okay it's just nothing special okay i like product number four i use product number four a lot i have a really big bottle of it though and that is the garnier micellar cleansing water what can i say this is just a really good cleansing water i like to put mine on a cotton pad and then use it to take my makeup off that's what i use it for or put it on a little q-tip and like clean up around my eyes when i've done like eyeshadow or eyeliner or if i've got a bit of mascara but this is 125 mil and it's worth 1.99 i'm quite i'm quite glad to see that in there yeah it's a low value item but I like it, I use it, this will be gone soon. So I'm happy with this product. And this one is also suitable for all skin types, so that means anyone can use it, so it works well in the box when it's suitable for everyone. So that's another bonus. Okay, so the fifth and final product is by Christophe Robin, and it's a deluxe mini size, so it's this little pot. Actually I say little, but it's it's decent size. And it's a cleansing volumizing paste with clay and rose extracts. What's it actually for? I think it's for the hair. <laughs> yeah, it is for red fervor, it says that. So it says this deep cleansing treatment tackles fine hair that lacks density. The paste like texture transform into a lightweight foam when you add water. So it instantly adds volume to your roots and it's a unique blend of ra Russell, whatever that is, and rose extracts that helps preserve and enhance your hair's colour. So the Deluxe Money has 40 mils of product and is worth £6.40. And it says for a top tip, add it to your hair care routine once or twice a week for best results. So it's a paste and you mix it with water. And add it to the roots. I didn't expect it to look like that. It's like brown. I don't know what. Oh, it smells nice. You can smell the rose. Oh, it's quite like thick and sticky. Oh. I'll be back. I want to add it to water. Okay, so I added a little drop onto my hand of the paste and I put it with water. Didn't it slightly foamed up? But can you see it's quite gritty? So I feel like it's going to clean the scalp quite well and get rid of any like built up shampoo, dry shampoo, you know, things that get built up along your scalp and your roots. I think, that, I think that's what it's supposed to do because it feels quite gritty. So because I do use dry shampoo, that might actually be good for my hair. But it does smell really nice. I just didn't expect it to be this kind of brown, goopy colour. But I'll give that a go. Okay, guys. So that was all five products. What did you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought. I think this month's box was just average. Some products I really liked. Like the lip oil. That was definitely my favourite. And the micellar water. I definitely used. And that hair paste. I'm excited to try. If it works for me i'm not sure but the scrub and the body oil mm, mm, not sure so on the card it says you get four full-size products the lip oil the face scrub the body oil and it says the micellar water is full size but yeah so it says that's full size but that's the size i use so i'd call that full size so i'll say three and a half full-size products i'll say it's like a a big sample size but i wouldn't call that full size but overall it was okay 
I've had worse boxes, but I've also had a lot better. But yeah. So that was June 2021's Glossy Box. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.